Hello everybody, I am Swami here. Today we are going to see third party six. It is SS, SAP, MM and SD integration. Both are closely integrated. Even FICO is also integrated with this. So I am going to show you MM and SD. So I'll just show you the process. What is the process? Order confirmation. Upon the confirmation of the order by the company, vendor will send the material from its plant, from the vendor plant to the customer. Okay. Cus company confirms the order. So customer confirms the order to the company. Once the order is confirmed, if the order is passed on to the vendor, vendor in turn will be sending the material from its plant, from the vendor plant to the customer. So vendor puts a billing to company and company in turn will put the bill to the customer. That is what the process is. Now, the step is, I'm going to create a sales order. Upon creation of the sales order, on the background of it, purchase requisition will be created. Once the purchase requisition is created, we create the purchase order and we do vendor invoice. So, wherein there is no goods receipt or goods issue, no goods movement happens here in third party. So, automatically we put the billing to the customer. So, where from the vendor, the material will be sent to the customer. Okay. Vendor will be putting the billing to the, to our company, to the company. Company which in turn will, will be putting the billing to the customer. So, I'll show that in the live system. Let's go to the live system. This is my live system. First, let me create a mentor, um, material. Go to mechanical engineering, semi-finished. Here it is, semi-finished. Semi-finished. Select all of these tabs, press enter. So the plant is 1000, sorry location is 0001, sales organization is 1000, distribution channel is 10, press enter. Steering wheels, each base unit of measure, Press enter, enter. Zero percent. Zero. Press enter. So here, <clears throat> item category is bands, B A N S. Third party. Item category group is bands, B A N S. B A N S is the bands is third party item. Bands. Select bands here also. Press enter. Enter. Transportation group, triple zero one. Loading group, manual, triple zero three. Press enter, enter, enter. ND, no MRP. Now, valuation class. Select the valuation class. Seven nine double zero. Five six two six is my. Five six two six is my material. So my customers, already I have shown the creation of the customer. So let me, I don't have to show that all over again. So I have a customer. I'm going to use that customer. Vendor also. Six, seven, triple zero, eight, one, six is my vendor. Now let's go to PK11. PK11 is pricing. PR00, base price. Customer material. So sales organization thousand, distribution channel ten. My customer is six triple zero one one zero zero. Sorry, this is not my customer. This is not my customer. Okay, four thousand. Let me select a customer. Zero six is my customer. Yes, six zero six is my customer. My material is. Zero six is my customer. My material is five six two six. Five six two six. They are going to sell it to the customer for six thousand five hundred rupees. Save it. 
step three to come out. Now I'm going to create the sales order. PA01. Let me create the sales order. OR. Standard order. Division is 00. zero. Six. My customer. Six triple zero triple zero one zero six. RFX industries. Five six two six is my material. Five six two six. Okay. See, purchase requisition is being created. So this is a dummy price. So this is not the confirmed price of purchasing the material. Press enter. Purchase requisition. This is purchase requisition. Enter the payment terms, import terms, international shipping terms. So double click onto this line item, go to shipping, enter storage location, triple zero one. Net weight and cross weight and cross weight. Save it. So I have created the sales order. So my sales order number is one four. Sales order number one four double nine zero. It's my sales order. Now let's go to PA03 and check the Purchase requisition. Take the let's take the purchase requisition number. PA03. Go to for a look at this. My purchase requisition. See, automatically it's just being created from the background. PR. PR. So now based on this, I'm going to create the purchase order. ME21N. I'm going to create the purchase order. So this is the purchase requisition number adapted. Select adapt. Enter the vendor seven one six seven triple zero eight one six Lux Industries. Now thousand purchase organization is thousand. Now I'm going to buy it for thousand five hundred. I'm going to sell it for six thousand five hundred. Thousand five hundred. Go to so everything has been filled up. Now save, completed. Now save. So no delivery here. So this is the purchase order number. No goods received here. Directly I'm going to do slash and MIRO, invoice certification. Company code, 1000. Enter invoicing date. So enter purchase order number. Before that, let's select this input tax. So now calculate tax. Enter baseline date. Go here, basic data again. Enter this 15,000 rupees. This 15,000 rupees. Here. 15,000 rupees. Simulate and post. Let's simulate and post. Simulate and post. Now, directly, I'm going to do last step. Directly, I'm going to do customer billing. So, I have created sales order, purchase requisition, purchase order, vendor invoice. Now, I'm going to do for customer billing. Go to BF01 and do the billing. BF01 and do the billing. Press enter. Sales order number is 14990. Save. The process is over. Thank you.